Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our campaign. We're gonna build some temples, so we have the money. Because it raises force limit and stuff. We have a lot of accepted cultures. There's still plenty of cultures that we do not accept. And eventually I'm gonna to want to cancel this policy. But not yet. It's also 1600. Who was it that we had that truce with? It expired in 16... It's Kilwa. We need to feed back Ethiopia's... Kilwa's course as well. There's four more. That was a bloody fight. You actually shattered to right here? Oh man, we're too slow. Okay, I can go to Ethiopia. It'd be great if we could have gotten there one day early, but... Oh well. The Ottomans is likely having financial diplomatic problems and as a last resort has agreed to sell one of its provinces to Afghanistan. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. I would have preferred they sell it to me, but sure. That was the, the original intent so long ago. Was to try to convince them to sell it to me. I'm not going to worry about We'll just let them resolve the war. I have so little manpower. Negative 25,000. I also have no siege progress here whatsoever. I'm not going to commit a huge navy, a huge army to this. I'm just going to send... Like... One cannon forward. I just... I don't... We don't need this one to be fast. Although the sooner we get at peace, the better. War exhaustion's pretty high. I mean, if you want to commit some cannons, that'd be great. Hey, a siege value guy. Sure, thank you. So we need at least 2,970 troops to maintain the siege. Uh, let's leave behind... These. Keep the cannon there. Oh, he's decided not to come help. Well, that's annoying. If I tell Bahmanis that this is their job... Will you come help? Bring your siege guy over here. Get over here. If I tell you to attach this army, and I tell you to be supportive... Will you please? Thank you. Yes. Bring your siege value guy over here. Thank you. It's very nice of you. Okay, um, so I mean, if we if we don't, like, siege all the things, we should be able to recover all of the negative manpower in about two years, roughly. Let's just not worry about these claims. Let's just end this war now. We've already got the all the Ethiopia course. Let's go for that. I'm probably just going to vassalize Kaffa anyway. So yeah, all the Ethiopian cores. Hey, we got a new subscriber named Mirinus. Mirinus. Suddenly Ethiopia's shrunk. And next we have the war with Kilwa for their four cores. But not until we're at peace and we can start integrating a couple countries or something. Maybe bleed off a little bit of war exhaustion. So... Now maybe there is justification for throwing some more artillery on here. Give it a go. Just to speed it up and get to peace. I've got only one diplomat free. We're at 78% annexation. We've got 17,000 artillery, which is actually too many. Let's pull all of the infantry off, and let's pull off some of the cannons, and hope that that number stays above 15. 
So we can max out that siege bonus. We'll lose naval tradition. We only have 22. I mean, more army tradition could be good. It's difficult these days to get high army tradition. And our naval tradition pretty much just came from protecting trade, so eventually it's going to come back. It'll take like 20 years. Let's go for the land attrition. Yeah, in like 20 years we'll have that naval tradition back again. Now would be a really good time to roll another general. No, I'm not going to westernize. Why the hell would I westernize? Like, if you think westernization is the right play right now, you're just wrong. If I westernize, I can't do what I've been doing with vassals. I can't vassalize any of these countries, because I will be too superiorly technological or whatever. I can't vassalize Kilwa, I can't vassalize Kaffa Funge, I can't do anything with Khorasan or Afghanistan. Like, these countries are all Muslim. Wait, Muslim is 50%. Maybe you can still do Muslims, but the Indians, which is what we are, are... 50%. I, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm not going to do it. No. We're going to do it when it's necessary. Right now it's not necessary. Far too many things that need to be accomplished before it's time. Converting lands just because it can. There's really no reason for it. I mean, it lowers revolt risk slightly by taking our tolerance from 3 to 4.4. That's really it. That's, that's all that it actually does. And did we slip below? Yeah, we did. Because because I don't have any reinforcement, I am actually losing more artillery than uh, than I can support. Truce with Kilwa just expired. Japan has gone bankrupt. And the Ottomans is defender of the Sunni faith. Okay. Good for the Ottomans, I guess. Come on, 35% chance here, please. Come on, game. So unfortunately, I think that means that, yeah, we're, we're going to slip below 15 again. So why don't we just go down to, like, 13 now. New subscriber whose name is Heavywood. Thanks for joining the team. Welcome. Subscriber stream. Well, it's not really a subscriber stream. We're just, just a subscriber. It's Sunday. I don't what What? What? Words are hard, okay? Afghanistan, do you love me yet? What about you? You love me. Finally. There we go. Alright, so we will core that. We've got our mission. We will form an alliance with Killa now, sure. Some more Dipple points are always nice. Uh, we'll probably immediately cancel it. Am I ever going to vassalize Killa? Yeah, I mean, they're so big, though. It's it, there's, it's going to be difficult to ever get to a point where we can vassalize Kilwa. I'm going to have to make him spit out Ajaran. Remove Chanda. See, it's just wanting me to clean up the border gore. Hey, incorporate Bengal. Yeah, sure, why not? We're already at 87%. It'll be done next year. Sounds great. Free administrative points. Okay, so let's just stay at peace. Let's let's let war exhaustion come down. Let's let um manpower come back. We have Ed did Ed Ed died. Ed died nine. Just subscribed. 2930. I wanna find like a really high supply limit province. We can do some. Here we go. These are the two. We got a royal marriage offer from Kilwa. The problem is Kilwa is just too large. I can't. I can't ever vassalize them. So I'm not gonna accept that. We can always break it now that we've got full diplomatic. But unless we get a mission for it, I don't see the value in it. Aris is being occupied really heavily by Koch. Koch might become somebody I want to integrate. Let's improve relations. So, we're at 8 out of 7 relationships because we're over with Kilwa. I, I think I'm just going to have to dissolve the alliance. It'll take like 25 years for them to forget 
about the fact that I broke the alliance. Yeah, because we've got plus 100% improved relations over time, better relations over time. Normally it takes 50 years, this time it'll take 25. 25 years is not very long. It's a lot of recent uprising expiring. Okay, so we need to integrate Madrid Bari. We need to improve relations with them again a little bit. And just stay at peace. That's that's what's important. See, I like balancing armies like this. That way I know that these two armies are both going to be pretty well balanced overall. So Khorasan and Afghanistan both love me, both would accept vassalization. Thank you for just giving me half the Timurids for free. We will do that as soon as we finish integrating somebody. Lost our general. Now is definitely the time to re-hire a general then. While army tradition's high. No shock value, but three siege value. Interesting. Okay, so as soon as we get Medri Bari, we can integrate them. Let's do that right now. We are ready to integrate Alodai, Alodia, but I don't think it's been long enough. Gotta wait till 1606. Ethiopia, we need to do more some some more growth. Bahmanis has one more core on Golconda, which we can attack them again in two years for. But other than that, we're done with Bahmanis. The rest of Orissa is going to be fed to Vijayanagar. So we could just integrate you, especially if Vijayanagar has a core on it. We have a claim on it. Eh, we'll, we'll wait till we can actually... You know what? I could start integrating them and then attack over the final core. Like, I don't have to wait. Has it been long enough? No, we had to wait four years anyway. Three years. So no worries, really. Something's going on with Ulm. Yeah, yeah. I've got aggressive expansion. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Oh, right. That diplomat, though? He's supposed to be being used to integrate Medri Bari. Which should happen very quickly. 77 points. That'll be done in, like, no time at all. Real shame, though, that I can't get this uh, annexed subjects penalty to actually ever go away. But that's a good problem to have. I mean, we're integrating so fast that we just keep it cycling constantly. So that's two relationship slots that'll free up. I might not even really need the alliance with Poland, but I kind of like the idea of getting pulled into a war with the Ottomans and having Poland and Lithuania and whoever else Poland is allied with. Austria, Muscovy. I mean, if they, if they attack, man. Wow, the Golden Horde, what are you doing up there? What are you doing up here? And Kazan, why are you so strong? Hmm. August of this year? Hey, we're done. Cool. That's also our mission. And we just accepted a culture. Cool. We're coring the one province. Form an alliance with Khorasan. That's definitely something I want to do. Alright, how are we doing on force limit? We're still below it. Good. Got our new troops from you. We have no mercenaries right now, right? Good. No revolt risk over here. The uh, revolt risk is negative 1.7, so I'm not going to lower autonomy here. We're going to stay at peace for a little bit. We're going to form the alliance with Khorasan. I'll probably wait to vassalize Khorasan until after we integrate Medri Bari. Incorporate Bahmanis, remove Chanda. No, we'll, we'll do this one. Barind? Alright, lots of people want military access. I accept. Okay, 
Things are going quite well right now. Royal marriage from Corson, we accept. You'll accept vassalization now, but we might want to wait until November of next year. I don't think we need to. You know, in 10 years, with with the incredible better relations over time that I have right now, I think that they won't even care that we've integrated countries. So Coruscant's a vassal. We do have quite a bit of revolt risk over here. War exhaustion will come down. Do I want to buy it down? It's only 50 points. Yeah, we'll buy it down by two. I'm not going to stay at peace for that long. You know I'm not. There's just no way. Can't happen. We have a bunch of free diplomats. So. Who are we to integrate? We are at 7 out of 7 relationships. We can't do anything with Bahamanas until we finish our next war with Golconda. We don't want to integrate Ethiopia yet. The Mamluks, we we need to feed them the Ottoman cores, but that's going to take a while. I suppose we could improve relations with Kilwa and Funge. And Kaffa. Poland is improving relations. That's a good sign. So they want to stay friends. We can build some more boats. Starting to get some trade income ish. Not a huge amount, but some. We already maxed relations with you. But you're really pissed off about my aggressive expansion. But you won't remember! In about 10 years, you'll forget all about it. Just be amazed by how diplomatic we are. What is the point of this game? Uh, we're going to take over Germany. Someday. Arissa will be forced to give Koch 10% of their income. They will cede Bhutan and one other province, and that's it. Well, Koch, after all that, that's all you did. That's kind of weak. If you ask me. Still at negative manpower. So who else can we integrate? I hate that I'm waiting on this one damn truce. This province should have been ours in the first place, but... We can keep going. We'll wait one year and we'll feed back this last core, integrate Bahamanis. I do need to bring in Vijayanagar. I really do. If I'm gonna do anything with Orissa. We gotta eventually get that going. So I think the very next relationship is gonna have to be Vijayanagar, even though they're really kind of tiny. And I'm gonna have a truce with Orissa for a while. On the other hand, if we just start bringing in Afghanistan right now, then that's a whole bunch more land that I could, could integrate sooner. That might be better. Yeah, I think Afghanistan's a better pick. Because it's going to be like four more years, five years, till we can actually do anything with Arissa. So... Even Crimea is trying to westernize now. We can improve relations with our vassal a bit. Make sure he stays high. Got some Nubian patriots in the Mamluks. Well, I don't want that to happen, so... We'll help you, Mamluks. Don't worry, we will restore you to your former glory. And we'll also build more temples. I haven't looked at trade in a little while. 57% control here. 68% control here. Yeah, we just need more boats here. Capture some more of that income. Expiring CB. Arakan. And we got the Najdi Nationalist at 90%. That should go away in the next two months, three months. 0.7% chance we have to fight them. 
hope that it doesn't happen. Orisa will cede land to Madurai. They will renounce their claims. They will release Bastar. Who has no cores on anything. And is a one province miner. With one base tax. Wow. It's rather pathetic. Madurai. Come my vassal. You're getting too big for your britches there, Madurai. There we go. More boats. All right, cool. Well, let's uh, let's take a short break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.